I like to go back and see all that thing. I don't want to go outside of Iraq because I love it. I like to go back to my village and my town. in these rooms. I cried. I was enjoying in this room with my family. Sometimes I quarreled with my brothers and uh, later we were enjoying times like um, the New Year, Easter, Christmas also. It was a lovely time for us and at the same time it was um, sometimes we could have uh, horrible moments when we hear uh, bad news from uh, our village or from other families that they are not released until now. So lots of memories in these rooms. I thank God because he gave us this chance to keep him to Suleimani and see lots of things here. No. I don't like to be separated from my family. That's the, that's the reason we went to Erbil, to gather all the family to be together so we could be uh, strong together, not separated family and everyone misses the other, no? So we could um, uh, live the lovely moments and the hard moments at the same time together. every day they are calling me when you are going to come back we miss you I actually miss them too uh, every day I call him, uh, them and I told them what are you doing what's the plans uh, what are you eating for lunch for dinner I miss my mom's food uh, lots of things I know it's a small house but uh, we were gathering together, we were sharing lots of memories until now, doing lots of things. Um, I was preparing to do my brother's um, birthday, but uh, I didn't have the chance because I came to Suleimani. I just call him and wish him the luck for his new life, for his new year. When I go back, I'm going to give him a big hug for him and father the whole family. are so so tired uh, loss of needed it's not depends on using something like this or food or maybe some fan or um, blankets or any covers or any clothes lots of memories that uh, we missed there we need that to come back again refugees uh, life it's uh, not that uh, not so good to live actually because they are suffering all the time Sometimes their children, they want some stuff, some toys, and they can't buy it uh, for them. They feel so tired because they want to give their children the life that they wanted, but they have no chance to do that. That's the life of refugees and lots of things. Do you think that sharing bathroom with other families uh, is good? No, it's not easy. It's so difficult, even or especially for the girls for the young people also, for the old people because they need uh, a special place, a specific place to live in. So it's so hard and so difficult for the whole. I prefer to go home, I prefer to go to my room, I prefer to go to my churches, my lands, my streets. I miss all that thing because it was a lovely moment I shared with my family, with my friends, with my neighbors. I like to go back and see all that thing. I don't want to go outside of Iraq because I love it, even if we are living a bad moment, a special moment which they are so difficult for all the people. But I like to go back to my village and my town. I don't like to go outside and see how is Europe or how is America, but I like to go back.
I know if we go back, it will be difficult for us because our village, it will be lots of houses will be destroyed. Our stuffs, our uh, houses will be stolen. But we'll start a new life with simple things, uh, with simple life. We will develop this life, we'll do lots of things for our town, for our village, uh, because I know lots of people who run away outside of Iraq, they will come back again and they will live the life that they wanted before. Not the life they live it now in uh, Europe or outside of Iraq. Again again. Yeah. I used to say to people, thanks God because we are living um, and uh, ISIS didn't uh, took any of the girls or the children or the men. Uh, thanks for every moment that we shared here. God saved us from those monster people. But we want to go back to our villages, to our towns, to our lives. It was memorable days. I can't forget them and I will never do.